Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! In fact, this year is our year of blessing, upliftment, favor, miracle, breakthroughs, and some wonders. Everything double double. <laughs> so, guys, welcome back. Today I'm talking about you guys know this guy. Do you know him? Okay, maybe for those that don't know him, I've made a video about him. His name is called Yul Edochi. And yeah, you know the wife, right? <laughs> the name is May Yul Edochi. Yul Edochi is Nigerian movie actor. This man, he only talented in acting. He acts so well. And last year, 2023, at the beginning of the year, this man just came out from nowhere and started telling us that he has a wife. He married a new wife. We were like, what is happening? Like, the thing was fiam fiam in our eyes. We were just watching and, ah, huh? are you serious? Why? All of a sudden, the son died. The son died around March, April. After some days that the son died, we were all like, why? What happened? And this guy died like he wasn't sick. Nothing, nothing. The guy just died. So we were like, what is this? What is happening? Before we know it, Yule Doche came out with his second wife. I was parading with the second wife, you know, making noise. We were like, uh-uh. I thought this man, your first son, 16 years old boy, just died. What happened? I even made a video about that. And Chukwa Love Kam was busy. Chukwa Love Kam, that's something that the second wife always say. She will always say that God loves me so much. And eh? Chukwa Love Kam, she's always all over Yule Doche. They make videos, they sing in their videos and all that. And the first wife started doing well in her career. A lot of people, even the, the, the UN, eh? gave her ambassador so people started calling her for endorsement a lot and before you know it fiam 2024 we are here everybody shouted happy new year on the first on second this guy started writing some things this guy made a post on his um instagram account and he said 2023 was his best year the best year and this man never talked about his son that passed in that 2023. Rather, he said that 2020 was his best year without giving us some, you get. I was like, yo, it is Kwanya giving us a Can you hear man? After some time, May posted on her own Instagram page and it reads, Dear 2023, you were pregnant on the very first day of January, unknown to everyone what you would deliver. You dealt with me in the most catastrophic ways. Too many adversities, misfortunes, and worst of it, you stole my own flesh and blood, leaving me in the most devastating, miserable, and confused state that I could never have imagined. I lost all hope and nearly gave up. I had too many questions eating me up, but I kept hearing that voice echoing, who am I to question God? Like she wrote a lot of things. 2023, yeah, her husband just decided to leave her and got married to another person. That was the year we knew about the child the husband had with another woman. And we were, okay, yeah, this 2024 will be nice and all that. After some time, oh, Angel you again now came out and was like, you said, 2023 stole your flesh and blood, but you still had enough time to do Bobby enlightenment, surgery, and Tommy talk without your husband concepts, obviously endorsed by your married boyfriend. Like the man was like, I was like, eh? <laughs> you okay? <or? laughs> is there something, is there something wrong somewhere? What is it? So this woman, I'm a really girl, like she will not make a statement or a post in her, in her, in her Instagram handle and one minute a week. Enough of the manipulation. Stop manipulating people on social media to hate me and feel pity for you while you enjoy your life secretly because they don't know the real you. I will not take it in 2024. I've been silent for too long. I've been doing my best to protect your image while you're doing all you can to destroy mine. Enough! 
how did she destroy your image you know something i know is that there are people that when they have divorce or when things are not working out they find it difficult to move on that is what i see wait to oh, we are still trying to wrap what this guy said so he wrote another one she said god forbid if you had lost your life while undergoing boobs enlargement surgery which you didn't tell your husband about what would people have said you'll have killed that innocent woman abby you you'll has by that innocent woman abby everybody will be insulting me who signed the concert paper I was out of town then walking. You told me you weren't uh, feeling too fat well. I was saying sorry. I didn't even know that that was going on till much later. And you still came out on social media in your calm voice telling people you have been sick and recovering and you were pitying you and insulting me. Why didn't you tell them the truth that you went to boobs enlargement surgery? Enough of the manipulation. You have done enough. <laughs> over Biko, i want to ask this simple question very simple question because the time they were saying this they already in court hmm? you were saying that the wife did not look sick for his consent before he do that that those things i don't know the um the family said that is a lie i don't know but i this question i want to ask you said i didn't look for your consent did you seek for our consent before impregnating another woman when you are still married did you seek her consent you have moved on i think the right thing to do now is to move on because the children are there and internet never forgets when you have things like this and you guys are in separate ways and you know who cannot accord you move on so that these children will not tomorrow see all the things you are doing or your they will read all these things in the internet and they will feel bad the best thing to do is to we are still wrapping this one around though why did this man do this you know we are still trying to understand and the man wrote again <laughs> and he said you filed for divorce yet you refuse to drop my name return the bride price i paid you and your family refused i have asked for the return of the bride price a couple of times you people vehemently refuse. I don't understand why. <laughs> In fact, at this point, I don't believe that it's you that is writing this thing. Like, I think that maybe Chukwa Love Vokam is the one writing this. <laughs> Dropping the name. For me, I don't know, but I think anybody can answer any name. She can decide not to drop the name. Why? Because it's already her business name. She already have children with you. She can decide to still have the name. I don't think there is any law that forbids that a woman must change the name. Or, you know, the Oku Cardinal Court. Court to your judge, you know, a rule, ewe ewe ke She might decide to leave the name, to, if I throw the name, if I to if, forget the name, you get. We are still on that, though, the same day. And the man said again, for the sake of my children, I will say no more now. There's so much to be said, but I will stop here for now. Because men don't talk doesn't mean we should keep quiet and buy. Their plan is to buy me, but God will not let them. I will not let them lie, lie. <laughs> Remember, this woman have not said anything, not even even what, not even you is this or to defend herself from the one till today. So I don't get where she said I will not let them lie lie. I don't know who he, he's referring to. So maybe he's referring to someone else. We are still on this matter. The cousin, you cousin now wrote. <laughs> Nobody should tag me in any nonsense posts. The whole Edoche family is tired of that guy. You all drag him directly for all I care and put your energy in growing May Yule Edoche brand. Patronize the brand she represents. Repost her work and pray for her. Thanks. So the girl, see, <laughs> that the family are tired of this guy. Okay. I don't have much to say, but I just have this to say. 
because sometimes it's very difficult for people to move on. It's very, very difficult. Like, it's not that it's you. Some people cannot take it. Some people cannot, like, you know, most times when you are dealing with somebody, when you are married to somebody, to your wife, you get, there are times some people will be like, eh, if you can't do, I can do, I can go, I can do without her. You get out. What do you mean? Like, what is that? But most times when people move, that is when you will see the impact. That would, when you will see that, oh, this woman has, has done enough for, enough for me. We have been in this, you know, you will start missing the person. You can't, because the thing, I think you can, you in an agazi fast, fast, fast. You keep asking yourself questions. You keep like, what is this? But in your situation, I think there is still pride inside this thing. Because even in as much as the case is in the court, I think if the guy, some people say that there is something Chukwa Love Kam did to the man. I don't know. But the thing is that if you listen to his family, I think this situation was, have not escalated to this position, to, to this stage now. What I understand in this Mule Dechie drama is that there are some people that covers your glory. There are some, some, some people that like, they think you can, you don't amount to anything. I can remember when Peter Dochie talked about this woman, Peter Dochie in his word, he said that, that is, Peter Dochie is Yul's father. In his word, he said that, me Edoche, that's the wife, is the brain behind the family and their growth. That was what the father-in-law said. So now you can just imagine it. Then we never knew that you Edoche is like this. We never know that the man just na na call boy boy sometimes. But now that you remove that woman that covers so many things up, you start seeing another side of him. You get this woman has been covering. So many things, and maybe on our monkey, the woman. So, I don't know if Chukwu and Alok come whether or not be you and Anupa go in the or is it those kind of women that always push their husband to go and talk, go and write, even help him in constructing the words. You get you keep disgracing the man because I don't know, the man is being disgraced all over. Everything he's saying now is no longer making sense. People are not like we are not understanding the guy again. I've tried to go to her uh, uh, her post and see the boobs. Nah, the boobs, nah, the same, like, I want any, I from any little you know, enlargement. I don't know what uh, the man is talking, whether it's true or trying to drag the woman. Now look at him, her phone. Two people love come, now look at him, look at her phone. Up a good for two days, guys, we can. Eh? No, yeah, they go two months. So guys, let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think there are some things may may, may, may trigger the man? Even in as much as me is not saying anything. Do you think that all these endorsements, all these awards, do you think no one may trigger the man? Or is there any other, any other thing that you guys are seeing I'm not seeing? Please guys, just be free to share it on the comment section. So you will, Zwicky, rest in Jesus' name. Rest! It's a really it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Again, the day. It's in me. Oh, do for watching and don't forget to share this video share this video like the video like it and eh, like is that this one like it if you have not and comment on the comment section see you guys in our next video Ta.